What's up, everybody? My name is Parasite. Welcome back to Challenging Celtic with Hearts. Today we have Carabag in the U Europa League group stage. We've finished Schoolboy to Superstar, so I finished. I'd give. I thought I'd give Hearts one more season to try to win the Premiership. So we're back for a final season with Hearts, the final season of Challenging Celtic in the Europa League. So we've got a lot to play for in every competition. We've got the Europa League, but I'm more focused on the Premiership. But I guess I might as well show the group stage while I'm here. So, we're going to show Carabag. I said last episode of Challenging Celtic that I'd be back for the League Cup match. But the more I thought about it, the less I cared about the League Cup match. So, I thought Carabag was a better game to come for. So, I'll come back for Carabag, show that game. So, just a brief overview of the season in case you've forgotten. I've even somehow forgotten. We've gotten off to a pretty good start. Uh, only one loss in the Premiership so far to Kilmarnock. So, that's disappointing, but... We're still pretty good in the league. We are second second place, 17 points through eight games. Rangers are ahead, 19 points through eight games. So we're already behind the eight ball, but I know we can catch up to them. We can beat them. If we beat them, that we definitely have a chance of winning the league this year, especially because Celtic are absolutely choking. Nine points through six games for Celtic. If you look at their schedule, it's just, it's not good. It's not really very good. A draw, a loss, just so many draws. Not good enough for them. Not good enough for the Premiership. They've got to be better than that. So, hopefully they won't, though, because if I can only have to worry about Rangers, I'm fine with that. I don't want to worry about both Celtic and Rangers. So, hopefully we can keep this form going and just ignore Celtic altogether. So, like I said, to go back over the season, it's a pretty good start. A couple wins, a couple draws, but just the loss to Kilmarnock is the only really mark on our bad mark on our game record on my apprenticeship record so far. Got a couple draws in here to Dundee and Livingston, but Europa League, we've made it to the group stage. We started in the league path third qualifying round against Kukuriki and beat them 4-1. Then we had the Europa League playoff against FK Alexandria of Ukraine, I believe. Ukraine. And we beat them 5-0. So pretty comfortably, pretty impressively have made it to a Europa League group stage. And in our first game of the group stage, this was the last game of the game of last episode. We beat Arsenal 3-0. We smashed Arsenal in the Europa League. Like that's such an Arsenal result. To lose to Hearts 3-0. In Lundulu with a brace. Josh Knight with a goal. It was just an absolute domination. Was the I can't remember the match stats where it was dominated, but I mean it was really even. Probably pretty lucky to finish 3-0. But still, we won. That's what's more important. We played a game in Copenhagen as well. After the Arsenal match, we had a Ross County match, actually. Beat them 3-0. Premiership's gone pretty well. Beat Hamilton 2-1. And then Copenhagen, a nil-nil draw. Very disappointing. Strikers didn't play very well. We had the chances. We just couldn't take them. We were the better team. This was at home, so we were definitely the better team at home. But just couldn't quite get the result. So that's a little bit disappointing. That's why I think I need to come back for this carryback match. Because even though we did beat Arsenal... With a draw to Copenhagen at home, like we're not guaranteed to go through this group. Arsenal are probably going to win every other game. And if we lose to Copenhagen away from home, they might steal the two seed from us. So every win in the Europa League is important. So I figured I could come back for Carabag. So the squad I've got for that match, I think this is mostly our first team. Almost, I think it's exactly our first team. Almost exactly our first team. Conan goal. Wage. On loan at right back, Knight Sutar, Alberto Moreno, who's a huge signing. Otisoe, who's been great for us. Saranic, our new signing from Croatia. So let me. Luis Bate, uh, Afonso Souza, and of course, Danin Lundulu up top. But his partner this game is going to be Jamal Musiala. Marcos Leonardo has been very bad. He has not scored in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine matches. Eight matches. He scored nine matches ago. He hasn't scored in eight matches. That's not good. That's very not good. So Jamal Musiala is going to replace him for this game. He's been, he got a brace not too long ago. So brace there against uh, Alexandria in the Europa League. So maybe he's just the Europa League merchant. So we'll see. Play him in the Europa League this game. See how he plays. He hasn't got a whole lot of game time for us. So I'm really interested to see how he is. He's obviously much better in FM22. But he's still a decent player in FM21. On the bench that leaves Halkett. Michael Smith, Fabian Delph, Andy Irving, John Torrell, Jamie Walker, and Marcos Leonardo. If, in case we need a striker to come on, 
I mean, you could get worse than Marcos Leonardo. So maybe he'll score off the bench. Maybe that's what he needs. I don't know. We'll see. But let's get into this match. See how he can do against Carabag. This should be a win, even though we are away from home. I think we're a much better team than they are. You can say this is a great opportunity to show all the punts they've been right to back you up. Tell them I have faith. Otisoe, I have faith. Everyone is motivated. Let's get into the match. Given Jamal Musiala's lack of match fitness, how long can he last? He's good to go. I'm hopeful that Philip Cohn carries his recent good form into this match. He's playing well, and I really hope he carries on doing so. He's not conceded a goal in a while. I actually should probably look at that after this match. How long it's been since he last conceded a goal? I think they said it was like 200 and some minutes. So, like three games. I mean, that's not a lot, but still, three games without conceding. Not bad. I'll take it. As so we're going to have the first highlight, we're in our light blue kit. Wage running towards goal. Puts in a shot. Pretty weak on his weak foot. And it goes right to the goalkeeper. Not the best finish in the world, but he is a fullback, so not really known for his scoring prowess. He's known more for his pace. That's where we need to use him. We need to see him use his pace and just beat defenders off the ball. Inlundulu, also known for his pace and just his physical ability in general. He's been so good. Like, I don't know when his contract expires, but I want to get him permanently here. I know this is the last season, but I still want to set this team up like I'm going to keep playing it. I still want to get him permanently. Still want to make signings like I'm going to keep playing this series. As Inland Dulu's through on goal, he's got to score this. It's Dan Inland Dulu. And of course he does. Because it's Dan freaking Inland Dulu. His 12th goal of the season. We're 1 0 up on Carabag. Only 12 minutes into the match. He's so good. A ball over the top by who's that? Is that Bate that played the ball? It was on his left foot. Puts it over the top. Inland Dulu runs onto it. Good first touch. Good second touch. A nice finish into the far post. Very good finish. We're 1 0 up. Four shots, four on target. Deserve the goal. They've only had one shot all game so far, so we've been pretty well defensively. Offensively, that was a very good ball over the top. That's a bad back pass by their winger. Nilan Dulu's going to latch onto the end of it. He's going to run at his defense. He's got the ability to beat men off the ball. He's going to get tackled, though. Nice tackle by Zimmerman, but Otiso is going to win it back. Alberto Moreno, back to Souza. Souza looking for I don't know who. Souza's been so good in the series, though. There he is again. Souza, good save from the goalkeeper. I think that was the right call by Souza going for the near post there. I don't think he had, had an angle to go across the goal that he could get it past the goalkeeper. So I think he made the right decision. It's just goalkeeper made a good save. Sometimes you lose your one-on-one. -on -one. That's fine. That's going to be the end of the highlight. Great start to the match so far. Getting every single shot on target. Six shots, all on target. They have one shot. Not, shot has not been off target by any team in this game. That's hard to say. Hard to see. Rare to see. And it's not been much for going on for a while. We've had our seventh shot and it took about 15 minutes. Finally have a shot off target. We're going to go into halftime 1-0 up. I'll take it. Like, we've dominated possession. We've dominated the chances. If we can continue this in the second half, we're going to win this game. Uh, guard against complacency now. Don't think the job is done. Sutar, there's a lot more to come from you. <clears throat> a lot more to come from you. That's all the people that haven't reacted at all. Musiala, like there's a lot more to come from them. Didn't really get much. I didn't steal Josh Knight. Let's talk Josh Knight. There's a lot more to come from you. There we go. Decent motivation. I'd like Jamal Musiala to be motivated because we need a second striker doing something. Like, Inland Dulu is great. But it was when Inlandulu and Leonardo were both firing that we were a very good team. So kind of need both of them scoring goals. Either Musiala or Leonardo back to scoring goals. One of the two needs to happen. Arsenal beating Kobe Hovind 4-1. Bate is injured. Bruised hand. I think you're going to be fine with a bruised hand. You don't even need to use your hand. You're not supposed to use your hand. How do you bruise your hand? I guess he fell on it. You're fine. I'm not going to take you off with a freaking bruised hand. You get forced off with a bruised hand. You should just retire from football because you are not cut out for the sport. Uh, it's time to make subs, though. Saranich hasn't had his best game. Musiala hasn't played well either, but keep that sub optional. Go with Saranich. Bring on John Torrell. I trust him, kind of. He wasn't very good last season, but he's got all the ability in the world. He's an amazing passer. You can just Get some more key passes. Like, I feel like he should have a lot of key passes per game with his passing ability. He's got the passing. He's got the vision. He just 
doesn't do much with it. Sendendulu, a pretty slow counterattack there. Hits it against the side netting. They're going to have a goal kick. Hopefully we can win this. No, but it falls to Susa anyways. I want another goal. I don't feel comfortable only 1-0 up. I feel like they're going to score in like their second or third shot on target. Musiala. Oh, it gets blocked. I thought that was going in too. He needed that. We needed that. We need a second striker scoring. That would have been perfect. That would have upped his confidence. We got three goals in three games. And I would have felt good about it. But now he's on a 6.6. .6, and Leonardo isn't scoring goals. Musiala is not scoring goals. I, it's all carried by Dan and Lundulu. It's the Dan and Lundulu show. Uh, Susan's going to come off. He's a little bit tired. Hasn't had an amazing game. Marcus Leonardo can come on. Leaving that last sub in case they score, and I need to bring on Leonardo. But it doesn't look like it's going to happen. They have six shots now. They had a much better second half than a first half. They still don't have very high XG, though. Helps you to focus. Start wasting time. And the last, uh, I'll take bait off, sure. I don't want him to cry. He has a broken hand. Or not even a broken hand, a bruised hand. Andy Irving can come on. Should be able to see out the match. Get the 1 0 win. Good enough. Not impressive, but a win's a win's a win. And Lundulu, of course, showing up to get the goal. When we need him, he shows up. Good win, boys. Well done. I'm not going to say I'm not happy. Carabag are a decent team. They're from, where are they from, even? Azerbaijan. So, I mean, they won against Copenhagen, so I believe it was the Copenhagen game they won. I doubt they would have beaten Arsenal. I mean, no, they beat Copenhagen 1-0. So, they're not a bad team. We drew with Copenhagen. We beat them, so I don't even know what kind of team we are. We beat them away from home, lost to Copenhagen, drew to Copenhagen, uh, drew to Copenhagen at home. Weird results, but probably should, should have deserved to win that Copenhagen game, but it just wasn't to be. Again, if Hitler and Dulu's not scoring, no one's scoring. That's the big problem with this right now. I don't. Hopefully it doesn't derail our season. But in terms of when we'll come back, we've gone on a good run going so far. We've actually not conceded a goal in a while in all competitions. All month. An entire month of September, we've not well, no, we conceded one goal against Hamilton in the Premiership. So, yeah, if we conceded one goal in the entire month of September. Pretty good. Pretty dang good. Now we've got October to play. I think we're going to come back for the Arsenal match. I think, like, I thought about coming back for the Copenhagen just to see if we qualify, but the Arsenal match, you don't get to play Arsenal very often when you're a Scottish Premiership team. So when I've got the opportunity. We've played them once. I want to play them again. We beat them last time. If we can beat them again, it'll be a magical moment. So definitely going to play Arsenal again. We're currently top of the group, I think. They're second. Yep, top of the group. They're second. So it's probably going to finish Arsenal Hearts some in some form. Hopefully hearts first, but I'm not going to get ahead of myself. So, I'll see you next time for Arsenal. That's going to be the end of the episode. If you made it this far, why don't you like the video, subscribe, and click the bell. The links to all my socials and my Twitch are in the description. I really appreciate all your support. Thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time.